Shalom. I want to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and others of Great Millstone. Shalom to the elect. Um, I just found a want to uh, get a few precepts about the tongue, man. You know because you know the 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 flesh gonna want to the flesh will kick up, man. You know whether it be through wicked thoughts, you know. But you know you, you're not condemned until what? Until you speak upon it. You know, and um, you know, since I started off with that statement, you might as well get this, Matthew. I think it's fifteen and eighteen. Matthew fifteen and sixteen, and Yahweh Shai said, "Are you also yet without understanding? Do ye not, do not ye yet understand that whatsoever?" Actually, I'm gonna start up a bit, like at ten. And he called the multitude and said unto them, "Hear and understand." Now that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, not that which goeth into the mouth defileth a man, but that which cometh out of the mouth, this defileth a man. You know, like they say in the world, you know, uh, once you say something, you can't take it back. Even if you apologize, what? It's still out there, man. The spirit of what you just said is still out there, man. It says, Then came his disciples and said unto him, Knowest thou that the Pharisees were offended after they heard this saying? But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father have not planted shall be rooted up. Let them alone. They be blind, leaders of the blind. And if the blind lead the blind, both shall fall into the ditch. All right, and that's what you uh, have now. This guy shy, trodden, denied. All right, they be blind, leaders of the blind. All schools to show you how they never had the spirit of the Lord upon them, man. You know, because the scriptures say, I believe, Apost yeah, Apostle always bring this out. If they were with us, they would have yet continued with us, man. If they were of us, they would have yet continued with us, man. All right, but they're not of us, man. They're of themselves. They're of Satan, man. You know, this is why as all these as all these beautiful things are happening through the spirit, you know, brothers are doing more videos. All right, we're getting closer to coming, you know, going home. You're going to have slanderers to the faith, you know? And it's crazy how, you know, if you're in the spirit, you'll see. If you're in the spirit, you'll see how Satan is on these guys, man. Like I said, here it is. You got the chip coming out. You got all these prophecies coming out. Going to show you who the Lord is dealing with. The apostles and elders of Great Millstone. And yet and still you have slanderers of the truth. All right. So it says, they answered Peter and said unto him, declare unto us this parable. And Yahweh Shai said, are ye also yet without understanding? Do ye not yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth in? No, slock you. Do ye not yet understand that whatsoever entereth in at the mouth goeth in to the belly and is cast out in the draught? But those things which recedeth out of the mouth come forth from his heart, and they defile a man. So you got slanderers, you know, talking about, uh, uh, you know, calling the apostles and elders uh, names, you know, uh, um, you know, just speaking evil concerning things they understand not. You know, going to show you that they're fleshly, they're not spiritual, and Yahweh Shah is not dealing with them, man. You know? And, and they proud, man. You know? You're supposed to humble yourself when you come into the house of the Lord, man. It says, for out of the heart proceedeth evil thoughts. And you know there's things that happen that I still don't understand, man. You know, but through the Spirit, all right, if you just wait, the Spirit will reveal it in due season. These are the things which defile a man, but to eat with unwashing hands defile not a man. You know, and then, you know, your house child was giving understanding to uh, the law of Moses, how they said that uh, basically you should eat. You shouldn't eat until you wash your hands. 
you know and um so with that i want to go to psalms 34 And 11, it says, Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. The scriptures say the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. We want to get wisdom, man. We want to get wisdom because you're going to need it in, in these times to come. Especially now more than ever, man. The closer we get to the times to come, the more wisdom you're going to need to apply. So it says, Come ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. And that's going to keep you, all right, from uh, uh, being consumed in the flesh. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many things, many days, that he may see good? And that's what we're hoping for, man. We're hoping to see good when, when the world goes bad, man. You know? Because it's going gonna, gonna, it's gonna to be two things when your house shot comes back, man. Those who are waiting for him. All right, and those who weren't waiting for him, those who were talking shit against him. All right, and what do you think is going to happen? Yahweh Shai said, those who are not that I should reign over them, bring hither and slay them before me. So it says, keep thy tongue. Hey, the scriptures also say in Luke 11 and 23, they that were not with me scattereth. They that were not with me was against me. And they that um, came not with me, just grab it. I always do that. This is Luke 11 and 23. He that is not with me is against me, and he that gathereth not with me scattereth. All right, I'm gonna just read on, man, because this this teaches us to fear the Lord. When the unclean spirit is gone out of a man, he walketh through dry places seeking rest and finding none. He saith, "I will return unto my house whence I came." And we understand this. You know, by especially us brothers in this truth, we understand this why. Because, you know, you, them old uh, demons, you know, try to uh, uh, fester back up in you, man. But then that's when you, uh, you know, call into your house shy. All right, pray, fast if need be, get into the word. All right, and then them demons, through the spirit and power of your house shy. All right, your how about shimmy house shy, he takes it off you. It says, and when he cometh, he findeth it swept and garnished. Then goeth he and taketh to him seven other uh, spirits more wicked than himself. And they enter in and the well there. And the last state of that man is worse than the first. You know? So you, you, you worse. You worse off having known the truth than not having known the truth. You're worse off having known the truth than not have known the truth, man. That's that's also in scriptures. I said they had better if that man was not even born. All right, so this is back in Psalms 34 and um 11. It says, "Come ye children, hearken unto me, hearken unto the word." All right. It says, "I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life, and loveth many days that he may see good?" Keep thy tongue from evil and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. And this, you know, is considered doing good, man. You know? Because that's what we're... And, and the Spirit of the Lord told us this, man. This is how we know one of the reasons, one of the ways how we uh, know of a man is, is in the Spirit of the Lord. This is Isaiah 61 and 1. The Spirit of the Lord power... The spirit of the Lord God, Salakia, is upon me because the Lord have anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. All right. So the spirit of the most high is upon us to uh, preach. All right. Good tidings unto the elect. All right. Not slandering. All right. Not uh, speaking out of your own heart. You know, because that's what these guys are doing. They're not speaking of the Lord. They're speaking of themselves. You know. Calling uh, guys niggas and this and that When that's really them You know speaking of the man in the mirror so to speak It says he has sent me to bind up the broken hearted To proclaim liberty to the captives And the openings of the prison to them that are bound To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord 
and the day of vengeance of our power to comfort all that mourn. And that's our job. That's our duty, man. So when we do these lessons, it's Lord willing to the edification of the elect. All right. We speaking of the downfall of Esau's kingdom. All right. Slaki. We're speaking of the downfall of Esau's kingdom. All right. And the uh, uplifting of the elect, man. You know, exhorting, reproving. All right. And uh, letting them know that if their uh, uh, savior is here, man, is on his way. So this is uh, Psalms 34 and 15. I'm going to start back at 14. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. All right. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open to their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. So, hey, that goes into Job 18, man. The uh, light of the wicked is only but for a moment. So, you know, you're going to get your shine, man. You go you go with that flesh. You, you get your shine. Then the Most High terribly destroys you, man. You know? So, um... Yeah, man. You know, uh, not to keep, you know, not to keep going through the spirit, Lord willing you, Oculus edified, man. Keep your, keep your tongue, man. You know? And the scriptures say it is better, it is better to, uh, the brother always brings it out. It is better to slip upon the pavement than to slip with the tongue. All right? So watch your mouth, man. Because the angels are, you, you, everything you're saying is being recorded, man. All right? So uh, preach good tidings, man. Have fear in the Lord. Pray. All right? And seek righteousness. Shalom.